Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome to Art Class with Christy. Yay! I was just waiting for you guys to say hello to me. You know how we do that thing. Um, you might see it. We've got a visitor today. This is my girl Stella. Um, if if you're if you have been to one of my classes before, you would have met Stella. She used to sit up the top and watch over everybody at the studio. She's a sock monkey. Clue! It's a clue. Can you guess what we're going to paint today and draw? So this is my girl Stella. She's, um, she's got a tag that tells you about her, so I'm just going to read her. She likes taking photos and she's learning how to vlog. She's pretty clever, huh? She loves the beach and cappuccinos and reading and down in bags. That is why Stella and I are such good friends. I like all of those things too. So she's gonna, I'm gonna see if I can sit her up here today while we draw and paint. She was, she was so super keen to come and hang with us. So she's gonna stay there while we draw. We're gonna draw, have a practice draw, draw some shapes and like magic. A super duper soft monkey is going to appear. And then we're going to have a real draw. I need to tell you what you need. Yes. So, I'm going to do it on paper today. I'm going to do my artwork on paper. This one's on canvas. You can totally use canvas if you have a canvas. Um, up to you. If you don't, paper is super. Paper works. Um, my paper is that heavier cartridge paper. It's just a little bit heavier than um, normal copy paper. And it sort of doesn't have a grain in it, but it's a bit thicker, it's thicker. So if you are painting along with me today, you need to make sure you have permission of your big human. Um, and if you're a big human, give yourself permission to paint and have some fun. I'm gonna use acrylic paints today. So in my ice cube tray, I've got some ac acrylic paints. Um, if you are new to, to this, space grab yourself an ice cube tray with a lid like this and your paints will stay fresh for five or six weeks it is awesome 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 um i've also got some brown on some paper plate so you need a couple of different browns Oh, if you're going to paint a brown sock monkey, last time, last time I did a workshop, one of my most amazing artists did a rainbow sock monkey, and I loved it. It was so cool. I, did, I wouldn't think to do that. Paint, near paint. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. You need a pencil and a rubber. If you, um, if you, if you want to have a rubber, you can have a rubber. You need some paint brushes. I'm probably going to only use my medium paint brush today, which is this one. You need a pot of water, um, paintbrush, oh, these black lines I've done with a Posca paint pen. So if you have a Posca paint pen, you can totally use that. You can use a permanent marker or you can even paint around these lines as well. Now, if you don't have paint or you're not allowed to paint or it's not a good time to paint, you can totally use pencil textures. You can use watercolors. You could do this in watercolor. It wouldn't be as bright or as bold, but you could. It would look awesome in watercolor. I'd love to see it in watercolor. You can use whatever you have at home, crayons, whatever art mediums you have. You can use. Pausing. I'm going to pause now. I remembered. Yay for me. I'm going to pause so you can go and gather your supplies. That's why I pause. So when I make the shape of a heart, that means that you can pause me. Go gather your things and come straight back and unpause me. Paused. Unpaused. That was a really quick pause because I knew you were super fast. We are going to have a practice draw today. So I've got on my whiteboard my paper marked out. We're going to draw some shapes. And just like magic, a super duper soft monkey is going to appear. Okay, we're going to try and take up all the space. Um, because my, my monkey, I'm Stella, takes up most of the space. So first shape is we're going to draw this mouth shape, which is sort of like an overly shape or like a football. 
It's not quite as pointy as a football. I need to leave some space up the top because I need this part of his head and I need some body space. So, but fairly well smack in the middle. We're going to go oval shape. Oh, that was a bit squeaky. So however you do your oval is perfectly perfect. If I go too fast, don't yell at me to stop and slow down. <laughs> if you were in art class, you could go, Christy, please slow down. But if, because we're here, you can totally just pause me. Press the pause button right there and you can pause me. All right, we are doing a rainbow shape over the top of that oval. Whoa, <laughs> I'm looking at mine and it's a bit wonky, but that's okay. Because sometimes Stella's wonky. I've made lots of soft monkeys over lots of years and there are some wonky ones out there. You guys know I like wonky, right? I like different. Okay, you should have that fit in. And then we're going to do two sideways rainbows. There is. I can see it's starting to fall already. Yay! Alright, we're going to put this bit across the top because on the sock monkey, that's actually the toe of the sock. So I'm going to put that across there, just a line to separate it. Fabulous. Now, body, I want my body to come in line with the top of the head. For Stella, she doesn't have a neck. Poor Stella. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my finger down here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the body is just one straight line down. This side comes down, one straight line down. Awesome. Fabulous. Arms. So we can't see um, Stella's hands or the soft monkey's hands, I think. So I'm just going to, and I haven't got a lot of room. On this one, I've got more room, but here it's kind of like it's a bit squished up. <laughs> so I'm going to come, I'm just going to make come out to a point and down. And then I need to leave some space and I'm going to come down. And mine actually touches the body today. That's okay. And what, I've done, what I do to this side, I need to do to this side. So I'm going to come to a point and come down and then come down. So if you do really super duper skinny ones, that's okay. Makes it a little bit harder to paint. You have to take, it, you have to take the time a little bit more to paint. Um, but that's okay. Totally okay. All right, so we're going to do the soft monkey's mouth today. So I feel like I want my soft monkey to be a girl today, just because Stella's hanging out with us. So I'm going to go a straight line across, and then I'm going to do like a great big M shape because she's got the big woods. If you if you're not doing a girl one, you just go straight across with the rainbow one, rainbow shape. And then we're doing an upside down rainbow shape to turn it up. Can you see how it's set? Okay, that's pretty much. Oh, a heart. I'm going to give her a heart. If you, you could put a different design there. You could do, I know I've had some people do like a badge, um, like a superhero badge, a lightning bolt, star. Put whatever you like there. You, you don't even have to put one there if you don't want to. You could do a stripy rainbow. Um, a striking monkey that is not a rainbow. Note to self, not a rainbow. Um, you can totally do stripes. Totally your choice. But that's all the drawing we need. What? Ah, you were. Somebody said, Chrissy, you forgot to do the eyes and the nose. Why don't I need to do that yet? Why don't I need to do that yet? I know you're my most amazing artist, you guys are so clever, I love you guys. You know, because we're going to paint this in and those eyes will disappear. If this is your practice one and you want to you want to colour it in later, you can totally put the eyes in now. You can totally, if I'm doing a girl, I'd do that. Or if you're watercolouring, you can put the eyes in because you'll still be able to see it. And this is her nose, two little lines for her nose. You could even give her a bow like my girl Stella. So I could go circle here and then a bow there if I wanted to. Oh, there we go. But you get me right? You get why I did I wasn't gonna draw them in. Because we're gonna paint over them. And we'll do those right at the end. 
So that's all the lines that we need. Time for our real draw. Yay! All right, I'm gonna draw with my black pencil today. You guys pick up your lead pencil. You draw with your lead pencil. I draw with that black pencil so you guys can see it. And we're gonna do the same steps again. So, I'm gonna put that oval shape in again. Oval shape. And I'm not at all worried if it's a bit wonky looking. Doesn't worry me at all, at all. Over the top with a rainbow shape. Sometimes I go a bit wonky if I'm drawing on the side. If I go too fast, pause me. Sideways rainbow, sideways rainbow. My sideways rainbows just touch where that oval shape is as well. I'm going to put this line in because I generally forget, so I'm going to do it now while I'm remembering. Then body line, remember I make my finger come down here and all the way to the bottom of the page. All the way down. Other side, line down, all the way to the bottom of the page. Super. Arms. So I'm starting at the top of the body, come down to a point and then bringing it down. I'm actually, oh, I've got a bit more room. I can see that I'm not going to touch the body. So I'm going to leave some space and come to the point and then follow the point down. Mine goes off to the, off the page. A little bit different to my practice one, but that's okay. Same on the other side, although it looks like I've got less room. We'll see how we go. Up to a point and down. Leave some space, out to a point, and this one's going to touch. That's okay. We're nearly there. So, I'm still going to stick with the girl. So we want to put a line across the middle. If you're doing a boy one, you can go straight over with a rainbow shape. I'm doing a girl, so I'm going to do that. It's like a really big M. And then join it up with a rainbow shape underneath. She's kind of cool, I like her already. Okay, I'm going to give her a heart because I like it. You put in whatever you like. Now I'm going to stop drawing there. If you're watercolouring, you can pop the eyes in. Or if you're just colouring pencil or textures, you can pop the eyes and the rest of the details in. But we don't need to right now. Do you think I like painting? I like painting. That was my, my little happy painting dance. Firstly, I'm going to paint in these block sections. So I've got like a light brown. It's like a, it's actually like a coffee colour. And I'm not going to load up my brush too much. And I'm going to go straight in. If you've got only a little space, you might use your little brush. Don't forget to spread your paint out. Spread it out nice and even. You don't want any, what sort of bits? That's right, if you've done one of my classes before, you don't want any gloopy bits. What's wrong with gloopy bits? You guys know, it takes too long to dry. It's no fun. You don't have to be patient for gloopy bits to dry. That's no fun. So spread your paint out, spread it out. I'm actually going to use, I'm going to switch and I'm going to use my small brush. I did have it handy. I don't think I showed it to you earlier. So if you need to pause me and go and get a small brush, do that. And then come straight back. And I'm going to just fill in here. It will just make it easier for me to go around the curves of her beautiful lips. and then I can switch back if I need to. So I'm taking my time to go around those curvy lines. Okay. 
Just means I can get right into that corner nice and neatly. That's it. I'm going to do the corners here with the point, with the small brush. Right there. And this side. And then I can change back to my medium brush. Make sure I use all the paint on that brush. Remember how I don't like to waste paint? Pop it in the water. And now I can finish it with my medium brush. Super. So you can paint your soft monkey whatever colors you like. I'm going to use brown today to do my soft monkey, just like Stella up here. That's it. Now I'm not going to actually wash this brush now because I want to use both colors. I'm going to use both colors, but I'm going to do lots of little dabby marks. Not, you know, like not that one, not that one at all. No. I'll get so, so much trouble off my little humans that aren't so little anymore. <laughs> for a fake dab or for a dab. We want to dab with our brush, okay? So I'm going to dip in. I'm going to come up close. This is, um, this is my paper plate. I'm going to dab and I'm going to dip in this one just a little bit. Can you see I've got two colours on there? That's why it's on the plate. And I'm going to dab that. Can you see the new colour? I want it to look motley like that. I want it to look like two colours have blended. So I'm actually going to dab the whole thing. I've used, I can see it's too much like this, so I need some more brown. So you are going to probably get some blue pigments here, but we can keep dabbing them. I think I need to bring you closer so you guys can see that. I'm going to keep dabbing them the whole time. Oh, you go. Sorry. <laughs> I was doing it too high. So I've got a fair bit on my brush. Can you see me dabbing that? And I know we, we don't want gloopy bits, right? but it's virtually impossible not to have some gloopy bits when we paint like this. So today's the exception to the gloopy bit rule. And I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm just dipping in the dark brown. And I'm just dabbing it. See, I'm just dabbing it. I'm not doing big long strokes. I'm dabbing it because I want it to look a bit like sock monkey fur. Now, if your sock monkey is stripy or you've picked different colors to do for your sock monkey, you can totally paint it in, in block, in block sections. But because I want mine to look a little bit like Stella, I'm dabbing it. So if you're doing a rainbow sock monkey or if you're doing a stripy sock monkey, totally you can paint it in. You'll probably beat me because it takes a little while to dab it. And if I can see some gloopy bits, I'm borrowing that paint just to spread out over here. So I'm trying to be really tidy around the ears and just dab one way. That's it. I'm not sure, I think you can see. Can you see how it's different from the top? Yeah, you can see that, right? So I can go back and lean up here. I'm 
but I don't really want any white spaces, so I just need to have a look, that's it. Now, I need to do her body as well. So I'm gonna do that. Will you guys paint your bodies in? If you are painting the same as me, take your time. Dump it all the way in. You can load your brush up, just make sure you spread it out by dabbing. So push the brush down, like little gentle pushes to fill in all of the body. Here's a little interesting fact while we paint. Sock monkeys came about, oh, it would be around a hundred years ago now, I think. People used to make them when, when they didn't have a lot of money to go out and buy toys. So they actually used one pair of socks to make a sock monkey. So Stella's whole head and body and legs is one sock and then her mouth bit and her arms and her ears and her tail are the other sock and it's all sewn together which is really cool they're actually lots of fun to make i love making sock monkeys i haven't made one for a while but they are lots of fun to make so I'm dabbing all of her body, being really careful near her mouth, like that bit that is her mouth around here. Still using two colours. I'm using more of the darker brown though, because I like that. I want that to be, I want it to stand out from this bit. I'm going around that heart. Around it. I can see some gloopy bits, so I'm going to borrow off the rest of the, off the page so it will dry nice and quickly for me. Be really careful around your design if you have done a heart like me or a lightning bolt. I know lots of people like to do their soft monkey with lightning bolts. Go try and be really careful around those things. So take your time. It's no rush. It's kind of fun. So take your time. You do your best work when you take your time. And I'm still not clever enough to be able to cut the video, do the time lapse. And do you know what, if I did that at the moment, you guys would think I was super speedy and then you'd have to pause me anyway. This way you get, you get to listen to me <laughs> ramble on about sock monkey info, you know? And who doesn't want to know about sock monkeys? I know, right? It's really very interesting. Dabbing the whole body up in the arms, make sure you get all of it. We've done the soft one here a fair few times for holiday classes, and I know that I've done him before for a term class, and I absolutely love seeing everyone's soft monkey. So I would totally love to see your sock monkey that you do. You could do a whole family of sock monkeys. Yes, that would be cool. You could do a whole like, a whole series of sock monkeys. Stripey ones. Oh, there's one of my friends out there. There's one of my amazing artists just like, wow, oh, so that's so I so get so excited. That's so cool. She waved. Uh, she might actually watch this video at some point, so I think she might know who she is. Um, so we're nearly there, nearly, 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 nearly there. And I can see lots of, it makes it, 
the soft mouth knee look like? It's got fur. I don't think. Do monkeys have fur? I think they have fur. I don't know. I feel really good at counting <laughs> it. Because I'm not so good on the information sometimes, or the words. Why can't you guys get me and get painting with me? I love that about you guys. You just get me. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I can see some tiny little white spaces, but I can live with that today. I'm going to bring it close so you can have a look. Can you see how motley it looks? Yeah, cool. All right. So if I, if I was at home with you guys, I would probably try and let her dry a little bit. I'm not going to use the heat gun today. I'm going to be really careful and I'm going to risk it for this. I'm going to keep painting. Need to clean my brushes. And I'm going to do the lips and the heart. And no prizes for guessing what colour I'm probably going to use. I'm just going to see how good my red is. Actually, do you know what? Just had a thought. Because this paint's been in here for, for a little bit longer than that. So I've cleaned my brush and I'm putting some red down now. Um, and then I'm going to take another clean brush and I've got fluoro pink, like neon, in my palette there. And I'm going to mix the red and the fluoro pink on my paper plate because I feel like that's going to give me a really, really fab red. Do you want to watch me mix? Can you guys see that? I think you can. I get excited when I mix fluoros. Yes, that is a beautiful. It's sort of like a red, but like this pinky red. It's cool. She's, her lips are gonna look swish. All right, I've gone up the silver. I don't like it when I go up the silver on my brush. Can you see that? It annoys me. So I'm gonna wipe it. And I'll be straight back. I don't need to wipe the whole brush. So if you do this too, just hold it down around the bottom and you can just wipe the silver bit. Look at that. Yep. That makes me happy. All right. Lips. Oh, ha, ha. That is a cool color. That is a very cool color. I like it. Yep. Do you like it, Stella? I think she said yes. I think she said yes. She's got the red lips happening today. I'm being super duper careful because my paint's quite thick. Super duper careful around these lines. That's gonna try not to get any gloopy bits. She's gonna look super fab. I'm really glad I mixed those two colors. Sometimes it's fun to experiment and mix colors. I especially love fluoros from neons. They are super cool. All right, that's a gloopy bit. I can see it there. Yeah. Goodness me. There we go. Now the heart. I'm going to change brushes because I want to be able to get into that little pointy bit and in here. So I'm going to use my smaller brush. This one has a point on it. And I'm going to fill in the heart with that color. Which is cool. You can use whatever color you like. That's why at the start I don't tell you what colours, unless it's um, like the toucan, if you did the toucan with me, we need specific toucan colours, but when we're doing something like a soft monkey, 
that you can be adventurous with and bold with. I just went so outside the lines there, but it's okay. Because I know that I'm going to um, draw around all of those bits anyway. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> My big boy says that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> He's not gonna like me for saying that. Oh, two times I'm in trouble today. The dab, you know the dab. And cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Busted. Oh well. <laughs> not to worry. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, sometimes it gets funny in here. Doesn't it, Stella? <laughs> I need to, I'm going to move her a little bit over that way because I'm going to, now I'm going to work on the outside. Um, and I'm looking at what, what colours I've got in here. And I, I kind of always pick aquas and turquoise. So I'm going to try and leave a little bit. Oh, I'm going to test out what just plain fluoro looks like. What do you think? Might be a bit bright. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna put some fluoro on my plate. I'm gonna mix fluoro pink with some orange today. Clean brush. And then I've put fluoro and orange together. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Mmm, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Gone up the silver bit again. I'm gonna have to clean that because I can't. <laughs> I can't even deal. I'll just clean it. Let's just clean that there. Not the whole brush. Remember, we don't waste the paint. It's kind of a really nice, yeah. So you can't really see the fluoro in it. And I'm okay with that, but I know it is a complete, it is a different color orange to the orange that was in my palette. Whoa, look at that. I'm going to bring that close because I've got a whopping big glue pivot there. So if you've not seen a glue pivot before, this, my friends, is a gloopy, gloopy bit and we need to spread it out. Spread it out. Um, you want to paint all the way around your soft monkey, so I'm going to try and run a line. I'm going pretty close to the soft monkey. I'm trying not to go too close because I know that she's still a little bit wet. So if you're worried about that, let her dry first. Let her dry. I know if I've got a tiny little bit of white there, that's okay because I'm going to come back and I'm going to draw um, all the outlines in, all the details and outlines. So spread it out down in here inside her arms or his arms, whatever you did. Be really careful if you've still got a wet monkey. Concentrating. And I haven't even needed to use my big brush because. I don't have a lot of space around the outside. If your soft monkey doesn't take up as much room as, as mine, you could use a big brush to go around. But if you have taken most of your space up like me, you can use a smaller brush. Then that way it keeps, it, we've got better control. Gloopy bit, get out of there, gloopy bit. Oh. Your background doesn't have to be a block colour either. You could do, you could do, um, if you've done a monkey like me, you could do stripes as the background. You could do a rainbow as the background. You could do a cityscape if you could fit some city in there. Totally your choice.
really carefully and getting close. There's not much room down here, so I'm going to be really careful. Mine doesn't matter if I go off the edge because I'm on my um, clipboard. But if you go off the edge, you should probably have some newspaper or a splat mat down so you don't get paint on the furniture. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I can see she's still fairly wet. So I am going to grab my heat gun and give her a quick dry around the edges. So if you're up to here, you might need just to have a little break. Take a little break, do a little dance, eat something. Have some morning tea or afternoon tea, have a piece of fruit. We have cookies. You should be right fast. Cookies are good. Um, but make sure it's going to be really dry. If it's not really dry and you use a POSCA or a permanent marker, what will happen? I know that you know. If you've done my class before, I know you know. That's right. These guys are not friends with wet paint. Not ever. Even though the Posca is a paint pen, it is not friends with wet paint. And the permanent marker, it's friends with paint, but not on it yet. So it must be really dry. And I can see shiny bits on my page, so I know it's still wet. That's how you can tell that your paper or your artwork is not dry yet if you can see shiny bits. So if it's shiny, it's still wet. It might just need to sit in the sun for a little bit. While it's drying, you can totally colour in your practice one. You could colour it in with pencils. You might even like to write a story about your sock monkey, or just like Stella. I'm getting close to it being dry. I feel like I'm pretty happy with that. She looks pretty good. So, I'm going to use my Posca paint pen today. Here's where I'm going to do the details. So I'm going to start with the eyes. Yep, we're good. Just going to make sure if I put my hand anywhere else, it's not that wet. So you can do your eyes however you like. I like just to do two circles. I'm actually going to give her some eyelashes because she's so sweet. Can you see her? Can you see her eyelashes? Yeah, she's so cute. Um, and then we need to outline absolutely everything. everything. So, where we've drawn before. Okay, I'm going to start with my oval. These are important drawing lines. Oval. I'm going to do the lips. I'm going to do her nose lines right now. So she's got two little lines for her nose. I'll bring her close so you can have a look. While we're doing this bit, if you need to, you pause me whenever you need. Don't forget to humble me. I'm going to come across here. If you're using a Posca, don't push down. It just works just like a texture. And here, these, the outline makes her lips pop out. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to come up. I painted over this line here, but I need to draw it back in. So we know where it goes, because we can follow where we've been. Straight down. And this one comes across to separate that little bit of her head. Her thinking area. This is her thinking area. I just made that up. <laughs> And both the ears, outline the ears now. So we've covered all of there. Good job. Now we're gonna come down to the body. We want to do straight down. So from the, her mouth, straight down. 
separate her, her arm from her body, both sides. Both sides separate. Then I'm going to come in and do the heart so I don't forget. And then the arms. All the way down. All the way down. Both sides. Put that my cusp is standing up right there. It's a little jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. You know we got those. So this one's got some spots on it, which you can totally do if you want to. I'm actually going to do, I feel like I'm living outside the box today. So I feel like, where's my small brush? Oh, there it is. I'm going to use some white and I'm going to do some love hearts in the background. So I've just dipped my small brush into the white paint like that. And I don't have any colour papers, so I'm going to bring it close so you can see. Let's see what she, how it works. So, you see here, if I go down, lift up, I'm in an angle, down, lift up, and then, oh, look at that, there's a heart. I'll do it again. A little bit more white paint, you don't need heaps. Down, lift up, down. Oh, that was a bit wonky, lift up. And then we've got hearts. So I'm going to pop some hearts around the outside. Not heaps of them, just a few. She's feeling the love today. Dip in. Make sure your black lines are dry before you start. Push down. Push down. And these ones can just take their time to dry because this is the very last thing that we're going to do except for signing it. We'll talk about that in a minute though. Little hearts, little hearts, little hearts. I'm going to leave that space there because that's where I am going to sign. Um, I'm kind of happy with that. Tidy that heart up. Let's have a look. Yeah, she looks cool. I like her. She is done, but she is not finished. Why is she not finished? Yeah, you're right. I know I know that you guys have done my class before if you, you are telling me that you have to sign her. Christy, you have to sign her because in your class, you're a, you are an artist. One day I'm going to be able to say that without getting tongue tied. You are most definitely an artist when you do my class and you most definitely have to sign your artwork. So when I say you need to sign your artwork, it means you need to write your name on your artwork. You can write your name anywhere. Anywhere that's dry, make sure that it's dry. But you can sign it wherever you like in my art class. We break the rules a little bit sometimes. So I'm going to grab my permanent marker. You can use your Posca if you've got your Posca handy. And I always sign, so when you sign in your name, you've either got to write your first name, your last name, you can use your initials. I always draw a love heart and write Christy. And that is my signature on all my artworks. So occasionally, not very often, but occasionally, I will do my initials. Um, I've signed it down the bottom here. I'll show sure, bring it in soon. See how I love heart, Christy? But you can sign it wherever you like. If you wanted to, you can sign it in there. You can sign it in the lips, in a heart, on her body. Wherever you want to sign your artwork, sign it. Then I can call her finished. I love her. Do you like Estella? I think, yeah, she's, she's saying yes. <laughs> she's saying yes, she likes her. She's got a new friend. Um, if. Oh, tidy your space, must. You must tidy your space for your human. Um, your human will love you then even more. If you have a spectacularly spotless space, 
you must must tidy your space because then you might be able to paint again with me sometimes it's a big deal to set up paint and and be able to paint um and also if you set, if you have a spectacularly spotless space then you could say oh my big human christy would love to see a picture of my sock monkey can you send her a picture of my sock monkey i would love that and even if your big human does the artwork as well, I would love to see that picture too. You can send it to me on Facebook with for Coco's Closet or Instagram the same, or you can message it to me. However you, um, you your human sends things, send me a picture. I would love to see that. <sighs> Thank you for joining me today. I have had a fabulous 45, 46 minute hanging out with you all. Um, I'm going to say keep creating, keep making, keep drawing. And until I see you next time, bye from me and bye from Stella, Stella Wave. <laughs>